Hi friends, today I'm gonna show you how to install CK Editor and CK Finder on your Drupal site. The first thing we gotta do is install all the necessary modules. Go to Drupal site and download the latest version of CK Editor module and then go to ckeditor.com site and download the source file of CK Editor module. And the next module we need is the image and the file browser module which is CK Finder and download the PHP version of the CK Finder module. Now we have downloaded all three necessary files. The next thing we gotta do is put all these files into our Drupal directory which is our Drupal sites or modules. Since now I am on a local host, I just drag and drop it here and unzip the CK editor module which we downloaded from the Drupal site. And then we don't need that zip file anymore. We just trash it and drag and drop other two files within the CK editor file. Now open the CK editor file and from here again first extract CK finder module and we don't need that zip file anymore so trash it and other CK editor which we download from the ckeditor.com and trash those zip too. And now you can see that CK editor is renamed to CK editor 2 because there is already an another CK editor folder there. So we have to copy all these files from here and paste it into this folder. Okay, now we don't need this folder anymore and delete it. Everything we have arranged well and we will make sure everything is perfect within the CK editor file. We can see that CK finder is within the CK editor folder. And now go back to our site and go to administer modules and you can see that the CK editor is already there. Enable the CK editor and save the configurations. And now go to site configuration. And you can see CK editor is there. Click on CK editor and you can see that there's a small warning which is to set the permission for the CK editor. Here we have to get the access permission for the CK editor. Make sure that you give CK editor access permission only for the authenticated user. So I give access permission and the CK file finder file upload permission for the authenticated user. And I go back to CK, I mean site configuration again and CK editor. And here I have to set the profile for the advanced user. Here for the editor appearance, I choose Drupal full toolbar. You can use even full t or Drupal filtered or even basic toolbars. I choose Drupal full and you can set the language and all lots of settings are there. You can check around and set the things which you like, the color and lots of things. And the main thing we know to make sure that you choose CK Finder as your default file browser and leave all other settings as it is. Save the settings and go back to our content. Click on page and you can see our new rich text editor, CK editor. And you can see CK Finder also is there but only thing is that the file browser is not working just because of some permission problem which we have to set set up in CK Finder config.php. So let's go back to our module directory. I'm using Coda for this which I found very useful. Then Dreamweaver and on Drupal our sites or 
modules ck editor ck finder and you can see config.php there click on that and and comment the line function check authentication to return false just sorry comment out I made a mistake sorry for that okay just comment out these <laughs> lines and scroll down and you have to set the path to user files now I'm on a local site so I just leave it as it is if you're on a web server you have to enter your full path to user files here which is like your domain slash ck editor slash ck finder slash user files and the next thing we have to do is add some com extra code here which you can find from my site www.brightwebsitedesign.com after adding this line save the config.php then go back to our site and refresh and click on the image browser browse server and you can see that still that error is there why okay let's go back and check it out go to administer and you can see that there's a warning error there's a status report and you can click on the status report and you can see that CK editor has got some error it says it says that you have to set the cookie underscore domain in your settings.php file so again we have to go back to our Drupal site directory sites default settings.php scroll down and uncomment this line cookie underscore domain of course I don't have the editing permission now because we have to set the permission but I'm just gonna edit this since I'm on a local host I'm putting this as local host if you're on a web server you have to put your domain name without www and without any slashes just your domain dot com and after saving that file just come here and refresh the page and you have to re-enter your user details username and password and just log in again back and you can see that there's no more error for your CK editor module and let's go back and check it out go to page and when you click on the browser browse server boom it's working now click on the upload button there and browse the file your computer and you can select the images or files you want and so fast click on the image and you can set lots of settings here you can set the URL path the advanced settings like you can set up styles and the alignment sizes okay I have to set the title here and after that click publish and you can see that still it's not seeing there the problem is filtered HTML you have to make sure that you always click full HTML to work this function properly that's it now you can see that it's working now when I go back to filtered HTML back again and you can see that it's not working and I, when I put back to full HTML it's working properly so thanks for watching check out my site for more details www.brightwebsitedesign.com